Hi everyone, this week's toy hunt is at Target. I'm in the front section with the blind bags and the cards. They have a lot of figural key rings. No Disney Lorcana. Down here they do have the Blacklight Disney Stitch blind bags, which look really cute. I know they make a Blacklight Nightmare Before Christmas, which I really want to find. They also have some new hoodie Sanrio characters. Look at it, Tuxedo Sam's just bundled up <laughs> in a blankie. That's that's adorable that is super cute and then over onto the cards it looks like they have more of those trick and trade pokemon cards these are a lot more plentiful plentiful this year which is good good to see you also have this newer gardevoir set some of the tins the battle decks and some of the little single cards in the toy section, they have a nice side cap of all the new LOL Tweens Swap Series dolls. You get a little interchangeable head. And more looks for your dolls, so that's kind of cool. And they also have some of the LOL OMG dolls. I'm not sure if those are new. They have this tween series as well. This is like a really well-stocked section of, of the new dolls, but it's not down the LOL aisle, so it's on a side cap. And then they also have the little capsule swaps, the little blind capsules that come with the interchangeable face and a different outfit too so lots of cool stuff and then here's a look down the lol aisle i know they were gonna release some haribo or haribo i forget how you pronounce it i had written it down literally <laughs> <laughs> so my bad if I'm mispronouncing it, but I don't see any of those new dolls. And they do have some of the Make It Miniverse, and I think the one with this ramen showing on the cover is like the second wave, where you can get some of the previously unreleased little uh, miniatures, which is kind of cool. They have some Zombies, they have the other Make It Mini pack, tons of mini brands. They're definitely stocking up there. Lots and lots of mini brands. And then down here they have the cute unicorn Snackles plushie. Okay, they have Fruit Loops. That's adorable. And their tongue sticking out. Oh, I want to find this one in the in the mini form. That is adorable. And then they do have a couple Snackle capsules, which there's a second wave of these coming out too. I think it's maybe like five more added to the uh, additional, you know, original I should say ones that they had. And then look at back here. Oh my goodness, someone hid a Pokemon 151 Elite Trainer box. How funny. Now these are hard to find. I'm kind of just right now done with Pokemon cards <laughs> for a bit. And I believe this one's $54.99, which to me with the price hike and the craziness, I'm just taking a break from collecting for, for now. But there's Snorlax with Snackles. That's, that's cute. I'm going to put this somewhere else down down a toy aisle for someone else to find i think that would be funny because someone definitely hit it um in back there target has a nice selection of the disney i love you forever series the the larger dolls as well as more of like i don't even know the inches on this one but these are like the standard barbie size dolls so here's the the mini mouse inspired one and you get three different looks and she's really cute. I love the red jacket. So here's the four new ones. Stitch, Bambi, and Ursula, as well as Minnie Mouse. And then here's Bambi. Oh, I like the color vibe with the browns and pinks. That's a, a nice ensemble. <laughs> she has a cute little Bambi sweatshirt. She also comes with a hat. These are so pretty. They, they did a great job with these. And then there's an Ursula one. I really like her face sculpt. And if you're a Disney fan, these dolls are pretty cool. Oopsies. <laughs> to, to collect. Come back, Ursula. Oh, and look at She has, like, bell-bottom pants, which is kind of cool. They, they flare out like Ursula's tentacles. So definitely a, a fun line of dolls. And then they have some more of the big doll accessory packs and they've sold out a lot of these but here um, are some of the jumbo dolls down at the monster high section oh my goodness they have abby abominable how cool is she this is my first time finding her in person oh wow she is gorgeous She's one of my favorite characters from Generation 1. She, her and Claudine were tied. Dracula was my favorite. And then Claudine and 
Abby were, were tied. And I love this character. I have a couple of the original dolls of her, too, that I've never opened. And, wow, I think she looks great for, for the new generation dolls. I haven't seen the cartoon or anything, so I'm not sure how her character is in, in the cartoon or if she even appears in the cartoon yet. But um, feel free to let me know. I'm, I'm curious if I should give it a watch. Okay, they have another one up here, too. Okay, she is stunning. So glad to find her. I feel like her release was a bit delayed. And then in the Magic Mixie section, they do have some Pixlings. It might just be the Unicorn one. Uh, fingerlings. We also have the Cookies Makery. This is, oh yeah, this is the Target exclusive. They have one of those. Which I recently made mine, and oh my goodness, it was so much fun to do. What a cute concept. <laughs> Definitely, I think that's going to be popular for the holidays. And then this Target has eight oopsies. I've been dropping things. They have a ton of Squishmallows. Look at how cute the little strawberry little ice cream one is. Oh, and they have the Bigfoot. I think Danny, right? Oh, I haven't seen that one in a bit. Oh, they have a couple Dannys hanging out. <laughs> they also have the little capsules. Okay, just look at that cutie. Like, that's that's just a must. So adorable. They also have a lot of jumbo ones as well. Target still has their a nice display of Disney adorables <laughs> as an end cap. And I'm really intrigued about the Let's Go series, too. They have some cool characters. There's Stitch. Captain Hook is in it. So I might wait on it, see if there's any sales for the holidays, but I, I did enjoy series one. And then the Let's Go cars, they have Ajax Skellington, which looks really cool. I've actually never opened those, not even from the first series. And they have a lot of the Disney 100, even some LOL surprise. <laughs> Here's a look at the Transformers. This target's pretty well stocked. They have the Studio Series Megatron. Leo Prime. And then down here, it looks like this guy is new. Oh, he's kind of spooky. I feel like I remember this character. He has like almost this goat skull demon head. <laughs> and look at how he looks as a robot, his robot modes. Interesting. He's a legacy figure. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, and then Ironhide and Prowl. We have a little Jabba the Hutt hanging out with Sonic and Tails there. They still have those Squishmallows, which is really cute. And then a couple new Mario uh, figures. I don't remember that Luigi before. They have a ton for the Super Mario movie. Lots of stuff on this side of the aisle. So I'll kind of pan over a lot of that Linky Box stuff. Um, some of these, look at that guy. He's kind of cute. Part of the Rainbow Friends pack there. And then the Pokemon section. They have a couple action figures. Not not too much. That's a cool pack, though. Kind of kind of gets your starters. And cute little Snubble. I love Snubble Snow so much. <laughs> oh, and look. There's a Dratini plush. That's a character you don't see often as a plushie. That's really cool. Oh, they're not going to stand. But that's a cutie. Nice to see new plushies. And then in the Star Wars section, they have a very cute speeder bike scout with Grogu, like, being being kidnapped. He, he's in the bag. <laughs> but I do like how it's from The Mandalorian, but it's in the old Star Wars black box and old logo from, like, you know, the original release of toys. They also have this really cool McFarlane Batman Robin figure. Those McFarlane figures are so impressive. I don't collect them, but wow, they're um, really nice quality. Oh, and then they have uh, Paz Vizsla from Mandalorian. He's in a box, too, with the retro design. Good old Moff Gideon there. And then Ahsoka. This figure looks really cool. That's a nice one. I still need to watch the series. I haven't even started it yet. Target has their overflow section, which they're starting to stock the jumbo items that they'll release for the holidays. So look at this cool Disney 100 Platinum Disney Dorable set. You get a lot of matching characters. I love the Jack and Sally. You get some mystery ones that aren't visible. 
So if you're a big Disney 100 fan, then that's a cool set. And then they also have the Disney 100 Series 10 set, and this is the Target exclusive box that comes with 30 figures. And definitely keep your eye out when it comes that time for like Black Friday sales. Oh, look at the exclusive figures. It's a nice mix. So I guess some of those figures you can only find in this set, and then you can get others that are also from the, the regular Series 10. But that's a nice pack. And then they also have this pack of Real Littles. Look at the dragon mini book bag. Oh, that's adorable. Why don't they just make him separately? <laughs> that is so cute. So it says you get 45 plus items with the eight mini backpacks. So you're going to get a lot of little mini stationary items. So that one's $60 pretty much. Oh, I love the dragon though. <laughs> just, just want the dragon out of that set. That's really cute. So definitely kind of check. It's over more by the um, sporting goods. They also have the Disney 100 end cap, which they're sold out of the mini brands, but they do have a couple more sets, including the adventure pack, which I opened and I love. They also have the cute little dynamic duos. And then down here, they have these storyteller figures. So they're just straight up kind of like Disney action figures, which are fun. I really do like the mini figure packs. In the Funko section in back, they have the Jumbo Glaceon. We also have the Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Advent Calendar, which I did pick one up a while back, and I can't wait to open it. I'll save it more towards the holidays. And then a nice collection of Funko Pops. Ooh, they have this Jumbo Target exclusive Demon Slayer Pop. That looks really cool. And then other, other random items. So it looks like they have more of the Biddy Pops and the Star Wars set. It looks like they have Star Wars, Harry Potter, and then the Disney Friends. I would like to, to definitely see more of those at Target. We have some of the retro toys. I love the Muppets. Oh, that's cute. Scooter <laughs> from the Electric Mayhem. Oh, and they have some cute poskets. That's cool. Ooh, I would like to see more of those at, at Target. Nice anime section overall. I am back home from my toy hunt, and the only thing I ended up purchasing is the gorgeous Abby Bombable Monster High doll. I have been waiting for her to come out in stores. I've seen her online, and I've seen her for some crazy prices at some point, but she is released. She comes with her pet Tundra, the Woolly Mammoth, and she is so gorgeous. So true to, like, the G1 Abby as well. I haven't seen the cartoon or anything, but feel free to let me know. Does she still have her, her accent in the, in the new generation. Um, I love that about her. I also had loved Draculaura and Claudine so much. So Abby was up there with my my top tied second character there. And she has the snowflake design. She comes with cute shoes. I'm not sure what that is, if it's a fuzzy belt or a fanny pack. And then of course there's little little tundra. I love the tinsel in her hair. Her hair is quite long. It goes all the way down. So what a beautiful doll. If you're an Abby fan, this is the only doll of her I know for the new generation. So I highly recommend. And that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.